All right, this is a quick one take of the new VR settings in DCS 2.9, the update that just went live today, October 19th. Um, I've been messing around with VR on my uh, Valve Index. This is a launch index, and uh, it's been working pretty well. You know, Valve is end of its life here with the index, and uh, I'm anxiously awaiting whatever. So I've been running the uh, the newest Steam VR beta 2.0.6. Um, and I just left my settings same, launched DCS, went into it, messed around with a couple different things. Um, wasn't really trying to tweak anything, but just looking to see what the major differences are. Because, you know, they've got DLSS here, the new um, uh, super sampling, AI, machine learning, blah, 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 blah. I mean, I've only got a 3080 Ti, so you know, I'm not a big baller here with a 4090. But, you know, I dropped 400 bucks on the VKB Gladiator setup here and uh, the full immersion in VR totally needed with the hands-on stick and throttle. Like, I'm a A10 uh, tank killer guy. So, you know, from back in the day, Jane's flight sim stuff. So, you know, this is me just screwing around. Uh, first impressions, uh, you know, it's a 78 gig update. Um, and I know I'm not running top of the line hardware here. Like I said, 3080 Ti. Uh, i7 12700K, um, the Index Launch, VKB Gladiators, left and right. I got a Stream Deck running here, but it's not hooked up yet. I haven't done all key bindings, you know, hey, streaming one of these days. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to step through a couple settings here. I got key bindings messed around here. So um, well, yeah, let's see what happens. Uh, so real quick, you know, I can do the zooms in. So uh, resolution, you know, that's just the desktop resolution. I'm not going to display any of that, but, you know, set it one screen. Resolution of cockpit space, super important. Uh, you do update every frame there. It seemed to help with um, uh, uh, motion. Uh, you set that down in, like, TADS displays and TGP displays. Um, uh, if there was motion on them, they get a little bit of weird blurring. Um, but that's where we'll get into this new feature here in the update DLAA, so dynamic anti-aliasing. Um, I've tried that on and off. Uh, you have to turn upscaling the DLSS off to enable DLAA. Um, I messed with stuff. Um, we'll talk about that. DLAA um, on, if you turn DLSS off. Um, you do get the sharpest image. Uh, it does zoomed in and, and you know, in its default state, uh, looks the best. It really does. Um, DLSS uh, does allow you to jump up uh, uh, a lot of these fancier settings, a lot of these quality settings. It still maintains some stuff, but um, I still have to do asynchronous time warp for all that stuff. So um, my valve index is set to 90 hertz mode. Uh, I cranked up the brightness a little bit on it um, just because it's old and I'm old and my eyes are old. But uh, if you just look through the settings here, messing around, um, I do have a DLSS on, quality up. Um, if you switched up the performance and uh, the high performance options in here, um, you know, the ultra performance, uh, the, the default quality of text and, and fine detail, especially when zoomed in, really bad. Um, smearing, um, you get alpha blending, you know, what that dithering and the, uh, and the fuzziness on the edges of texts. At, at ultra performance and stuff like that, it, it just, it's bad. So turn quality on. I mean, that's the whole point of dynamic super sampling, right? Quality mode. Um, the sharpening slider here, it's defaulted to off or zero, uh, whatever. I'm not going to mess with this. Uh, but um, the higher up you go, the more graininess of the textures that I saw. So, um, you know, I played one third, two thirds, I settled on three quarters, whatever. Um, you turn it up any more than this, and again, the images do get a little grainy. Um, textures, terrain textures, I've had these on high for my index. It seems to work. Um, shadows, I messed with this a little bit. Low, high, leave them on low, it's the same. Um, obviously, flat shadow blurs, secondary shadows. You know, I didn't mess with this, but it doesn't sound like anything I'm gonna be messing with. Sorry, it's so shaky there. Like the Valve Index, I've got the two trackers up on the wall here, so they're kind of pointed right at me from 45 degrees. And like, it's so sensitive when I zoom in like that, you actually can see my stupid heartbeat in the image. It's 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 kind of ridiculous, but hey, 60 resting heartbeat. It's all it's all it's all good. 
Um, you know, flat shadows, blur, turn all that crap off. Obviously, you know, you want lens effects. I don't want any of that stuff. I want it to look like real life. Heat blur, motion blur. God, why people turn motion blur on? Keep it off. That is absolutely ridiculous. See me bending in here to try to give you guys a good view. Isn't that awesome? Um, this stuff is, uh, you know, personal preference. Uh, some of it is the view, you know, these clutter settings, these graphical settings, forest visibility. Uh, I've tweaked them to my own personal preference, what, what works for me on the index. Again, the index is not the greatest. I'm thinking maybe I want a Quest 3 to mess around with, but that Beyond VR is looking pretty good too. Um, uh, anisotropic filtering, uh, I have that as off. I messed with that, you know, 2x, 4x, 16x, 8x, on and off, V-Sync on and off, you know, does it mess with asynchronous time warp, asynchronous space warp? I know that's just an Oculus thing, probably not in the open XR, VR implementation. I can't keep all this stuff straight, it's fucking maddening. But that being said, um, these are the settings that work well for me at this point. Um, so let me like just kind of dive into it here and just show you what that looks like. Um, again, I'm kind of an A10 dork, but still a noob. So let me just mess with this. All right. So we'll just do a quick A10 instant action, Sinai, because reasons. Uh, and, uh, you know, do a quick load here. You know, Sinai is uh, one of the bigger maps in DCS. I don't think it's as big as Syria as a performance hog. I do have 64 megs, gigs, <laughs> 64 megs, I wish, 64 gigs of DDR5 RAM uh, in this machine. Again, 12700K. Uh, you can see it doesn't load that bad, but get all nice and comfy here. You can see I always get super freaked out because it's like a black screen for like 10 seconds. Oh, my God, it's probably crashed. I've had uh, overheating problems in the past with this because uh, as this is loading, you know, it's loading a 64 gig map. It's loading all the textures for the game. It's loading all this positional stuff. It's you know, 15 USB devices plugged into a hub. And, uh, you know, your power draw on this stuff is pretty crazy. So I had a SSD that was overheating and all that crap. But anyhow, so just quick mission overview here. I'm just going to do a quick reset of my view so I'm nice and straight. And click Kill. Contact. You can see I'll uh, turn on the uh, performance monitor here and the synchronous time warp at 45, obviously, because my settings are at 90 hertz in, uh, in, in Vive here. So you can see here there's that my, my buddy there. He's launching. I love how when you zoom in and track it, the text now doesn't blur around. Uh, in prior versions of DCS, the shadows and text and stuff was so terrible. It would, it would like flicker on and off. It was, it was really quite bad. But uh, you can see there's my, there's my buddy here. That's cool. The smoke is much, much, much improved. Um, you can see here we're, we're time warped again, or whatever, locked at 45 frames a second uh, because my hertz is at 90 on the display. Uh, you can see where you really notice this stuff is on the font of these missions. And there's a Maverick going in there. Watch that. You can, so that looks pretty cool. Let me turn this target pod on. Uh, get this stuff fired up here, right? So, yeah, yeah, turn that on. So, like, when you get outside, like, it all looks so good now. I mess with shadows a little bit more. I'd probably turn those up. But, like, I'm gonna run those bombs in there. Yeah, that's cool as hell. That's super And we're like, you know, hey, look at that. It's up at night. Because yeah. it's outside. It just seems to slow down when you're. I gotta turn uh, labels off. That looks shitty. It looks less authentic. Uh, that's much cooler, right? So you just jump back in. And uh, so we got our targeting pod here. That looks pretty cool. Yeah, so when, you, uh, when you're when you like on the dismiss page, that's where you see like this default, uh, this default, this default font on the display as green. I don't know if it's the index LCD display, not doing green sub-pixels, good, bad, whatever. It's, first off, it's, it's vibrant, which is great. The luminosity, the brightness is, is pretty good for being an old display here, but if I zoom in now, I can see the font is much, much clearer. I can, you know, I can read all the gauges in the cockpit, no problem, if I do that simple zoom in. That's what I've got bound to my thumb here, so as I push down on my VKB thumb, 
uh, I get symbol zoom, and then large VR boom is up on my thumb. And then if I press in, it goes in cockpit, it pull back, it's back, pull forward, it goes to the map. You know, so like. Warning, autopilot. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn on the So you see, it's, 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 it's a little, it dips down in there, it gets around, but it's so smooth. So it's, Warning, autopilot. So I'll throw it back here, get some altitude, let's go see how the boys are doing. Turn this off. Yeah, these stats, I don't even know what all this stuff is. Frame timing is in like 21s, 22s, whatever. And the this guy's way out there. So, I don't know if the data link update is uh, important here, but you can see the markers on my buddy there, the number two, because he's an A10 zooms in, that's really nice. Alright, so what do we got here? We got some Mavericks, right? So let's turn these guys on. It's uh, left over the Maverick. Soy. TGP is soy. Okay, Mavericks on the HUD with the cross and the circle. They're out there, mission. What are these guys out here? BTRs? See, that's, so you see a little bit of smearing in that right MFD as I move, but it's on just a target, so we can go black hot, go white hot, zoom this in. You see a little bit of smearing, but I mean, dude, that might happen in real life. Area, we got the point, we got the laser out, we got the TMS up long, we're gonna switch over to soy, we're gonna tell that thing to zoom in, we're gonna tell the target, bam, he's got it, lasing. Warning, autopilot. Set out there. Warning, autopilot. What? Why warning autopilot? Uh, that's a, oh yeah, I should trim up, I guess. Sevens are anti-personnel, so yeah, we're not going to use those, but this is the port in, uh, in, uh, where are we? Alice Malaya? In Belusa? Yeah, we're way south of the Gaza Strip here, which is good, which is good, but we're just going to fly around, and, uh, yeah. So that's the quick uh, VR overview here. Uh, like I said, um, you know, resolution of your screen, turn DLS on, quality. Don't turn sharpening all the way up, it gets too grainy. Uh, textures on high seem to work well for me. Turn all these flat shadows off. Uh, SSS, I don't even know what that is. We're gonna have to mess with that, but nothing big deal. Um, yeah, so, you know, mess around with this kind of stuff. I can mess around with my field of view a little bit, but you know, uh, these are just personal preferences type stuff. What the ground clutter, what the video looks like. You can see when you're you're zoomed in here, like it's pretty good. I can see into the individual windows. Like I think that guy's got a boat with a tarp underneath it or something. Pretty crazy. I mean, just me. 
talking is bouncing this thing around, but looks cool. Yeah, so, anyhow, uh, thanks for paying attention.